Yeah, I would like a bajillion videos in already. We're not even done with the intro. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to get as much of this done before people start waking up and yelling at me for making so much noise. A little sparkly thing flowed out of Jolanda. And then Valkyrie ate it. Tasty, delicious soul. So Jolanda got chosen? Ah, oh, I thought you might show up sooner or later. You really should have just run away. It will avail you nothing to cause a disturbance here, young man. Maybe not. But I'll sure as hell avail me to fat blah 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 blah. Maybe not. But it'll sure as hell avail me to smash your face in. I see. Arngrim, you may be a genius on the battlefield, but when it comes to the higher arts, you know little. I'm so anxious to rip you apart! You realize you are already dead. What? Magic Arngrim, let me show you. Ah! You're changing colors and I don't like it. I can't move right in this black thingy. I beg of you! You must save Arngrim, please! Land is floating. Save? How do you think he might be saved? And Jolanda wants Valkyrie to save Arngrim. But Valkyrie's not sure what she means by that. By being allowed to continue to live, or by being chosen by me? Yet one thing does strike me as odd. I'd have believed it if you ran away, but could a human really have defeated a ghoul? I can't imagine. Oh, you better imagine, all right. That's him! That's the man who betrayed me! I'll kill the hell out of ghouls all day long. What? Ah, uh, now I understand. We have a little conspiracy here, don't we? Conspiracy? Ha! Huh. I hear you're an expert on that subject. Defiler of souls, your sins lay heavy upon you. Valkyrie doesn't fuck around. Come to me, Dark Warriors! Battle awaits us! She seems kind of frail and weak in the game, but she's actually really tough. She has that neat little floating shield thing going on. Hey, that guard crush is supposed to cause faint. Why aren't mechanics being followed? Just attack him. He's gonna hit you with magic and it's gonna do a little bit of damage. You know, tap with Valkyrie, then attack with Arngrim. Whatever you feel like. Just make it happen. You can launch attacks from characters in any order you want, providing they have actions left, you know, like attacks are left to make. So you tap with them all at once, you can attack with them all slowly, intermix with each other, and you can set up a combo with the timing. Prepare yourself, rebel scum. What are you, a stormtrooper? Really? Come on, I'm Arngrim. These slipshod soldiers think they can call me rebel scum. Alright, who's next? How about you, buddy? Look, Fred, don't expect me to do you any favors. I'm not gonna die. I guess they don't have much use for heroes with true strength up in Asgard, eh? <laughs> huh? Vainglorious human. Strength is not everything. Hmm. You're one to talk, Death Goddess. Impudent fool! Valkyrie is not a goddess of the dark. Such words will result in your certain death. What? Floating disembodied Jalanda? A Angela? Eh? You... you knew. <laughs> I see. So you're safe, little one. Uh-uh, I saw you sneaking up on me. I have one question. 
Aren't you just a death goddess? The god of death is merely responsible for the snuffing out of lives. I, however, can show you the path. Path? Yes. However, you must walk it on your own. Stop this pointless slaughter! Old man! Arngrim, will you truly raise arms against me? Nope! You got me there, buddy! Do I have any regrets? Hell no! That's pretty rough. That was really graphic to me the first time I saw it. Why did you save me? Consider it a gift. It seems we'll be spending quite a bit of time together. That it does, little one. I guess I am doing this voice right. I have another taco to eat. Fates can indeed be a cruel mistress. What is it? Nothing. Let us take leave of here. Next? Yes. Even the strongest steel must first be tempered, yes? To send them to Asgard directly would be only a death sentence. Concentrate once again. You should be able to feel the presence of the undead as well. You can tell by the different music. It's, if it's going to be like a character or a cutscene or if it's going to be a dungeon. This is the dungeon music. We'll show you on the map where it's at. Artolian Mountain Ruin. Yes, I feel them. They are nearby. Let us go and see. And this is the first time you get control of your character on the world map. And you uh, press the X button, you can fly around, you press the select button, you can toggle your map. You'll only be able to go to the one point on it, so there's really not much to do there right now. I usually keep it in this big setup right here. You can't access your menu yet, but, uh, you know, whatever. And in the next video, we are going to be going into the Artolian Mountain Ruins. Actually, I think we're going to run in here real quick and do the intro thing and then save. Actually, it might be preferable. I've got 100 seconds. I can make it. Hop. I sense an enemy. Teleport. Yes, there is one, an undead. Leneth, are you ready? I can accompany you through this ruin, but when you leave this place, I must return to Asgard. Yes. Look at this, Leneth. That is the memory camp. Tutorial! In the memory camp status, open the camp screen, select process data, yada yada yada. Tools can only be created in a dun- can Tools in- can be created in a dungeon only at a memory camp. Tools or items that you make and whatnot. I think you understand, but eating souls is a desecration of the dead. Having mercy on the undead is useless. Let's go. And now we finally get control over Valkyrie. The circle swings the sword. The square makes these crystals. They do things, you can jump, etc. You can open the status screen, which we will play with in the next video. For right now, we're going to save right here. And I will catch you next time on Let's Play Valkyrie Profile in Artolia Mountain Ruins.